What's up everybody, Matt Moran here for another car review. This is of course the 2018 McLaren 720S. Huge thanks to McLaren for providing us with this very sweet 720S to review for you guys today. Also, huge thanks to the Automotive Video Association for arranging this vehicle and nine other awesome cars and SUVs for the second annual Automotive Video Awards, which brings seven of the best car reviewers in video and myself together to decide which is the best performance car and performance SUV of the year. So about the 720, well, it is just insane looking. It looks like something from another planet to me. I mean, it's just got these alien eyes in the front here um, that are actually functional. There's a scoop. Uh, it, it, all the air passes right past uh, that headlamp uh, through to into the fenders here. And everything on this car, you know, there isn't anything unnecessary. Everything is functional. Everything serves a purpose. Um, so, you know, the styling is very expressive uh, while still, you know, actually having uses for all these little things. You know, I mean, there's a million things to take in on this car. You can just walk around and study this car for an hour and just notice different little things about it. Honestly though, my favorite part about the 720S is actually, I think the sides, they have these double skin doors. You can actually put your whole arm like down the side of that door there. And it's so cool. And that again, all scoops that airflow. Instead of having some huge, you know, vent in the side like every other supercar, this is totally smooth going down the sides. Um, and then you just have all these channels in the doors that really uh, usher the air through onto the, uh, you know, engine, which is of course a mid-engine setup there in the back. Um, and you also have another little scoop right in the lower part of the door there. And again, Again, all that helps uh, with airflow and managing uh, the aerodynamics of this vehicle in a very, very intelligent way. Going out back, I love how, you know, the tail lamps are so slender, just a, so minimalistic. Um, and it's just, it, it's beautiful though. I love the beautiful simplicity this car has um, in so many ways, you know, and I love the smooth lines on it. And I love the, you, know, you have a huge rear spoiler that works as an air brake and, you know, constantly is adjusting to uh, optimize airflow once again. And um, you know, it's just really cool how it goes the entire length of, or the tire width of the vehicle there and then you also have the exhaust tips that are uh, protruding right out uh, towards the top there which is also another very cool effect and uh, you have a rear diffuser down there and again just I love how it's so open there in the back again just to help cool off that engine and everything it just looks so cool from every single angle and like I said you could just stare at this thing for uh, you know a long long time and just appreciate all these little angles of it it's just a fantastic looking vehicle right so the interior of the 720s well it is also really Really different from anything else uh, you've probably experienced. I mean, it's just crazy. So anyway, first thing, uh, getting into this vehicle is actually really interesting because uh, you know these doors, of course, are these vertical doors that go up. Um, but you have this nice cut in the roof so that it's very easy uh, to get in, you know, without banging your head, um, and makes it uh, a little bit more livable, I think, to have that. And uh, it just everything is such a cool look. I mean, you have you can see that second skin of the door as you look out there. You have the uh, mirrors that are you know way off to the side there, which is. A a very cool look but anyway um, sitting down in these seats now this one has the luxury pack so it has the full leather interior which is really nice and you can do a lot of Alcantara and that's really popular with a lot of people I'm not crazy about that look I really love this leather I think it's uh, just really got some cool stitching to it here I'm um, in very very supportive seats they're very uh, customizable and adjustable here um, you know with the bolstering and you know all that type of stuff and um, the seat controls are very uh, well hidden though down here and so you have to actually feel around for them you can't actually even see um, what you're pressing you just have to kind of feel it and you know learn it it's a little counterintuitive at first but then uh, once you get used to it then it makes a lot of sense um, and uh, but yeah they just really hug you in really nicely and uh, so overall really cool seats next to the steering wheel here and the 720s which is so cool I love these McLaren steering wheels so simple there's not a single button on here except the horn and uh, that's really refreshing since a lot of other supercars have tons of buttons on and have all the controls on the steering wheel and stuff I like that this doesn't uh, you know you just have a really great 9 three grip a thinner uh, wheel too I mean it's like a decent thickness but you know a little thinner than some of the really beefy stuff you see from other companies um, it's just love it's just got lovely contour so it's, it just feels great in your hands uh, no nine, no 10 and 2 uh, notches which is uh, kind of cool uh, just a really great 93 grip I love this one's obviously carbon fiber here it's a really cool look you also have the large carbon fiber paddle shifters which in typical McLaren fashion are rocker uh, you know paddles so you can actually um, shift one-handedly and so you can pull back you know for the one that you're actually trying to use but then push 
um, to you know do the other op operation, which is a really cool uh, setup and something that no one else has copied. Interestingly, but I think that's really handy if you're driving you know one-handedly for whatever reason or just you know like the convenience of using one hand to do that. Um, and so a great steering wheel. Next to the gauges here, which is a very cool party trick in the 720s, um, but I think it's actually very functional too. So whenever you turn the car on, you can see it uh, folds uh, down or up, you know, depending on your, what you want. Um, and so the main uh, screen there, you know, for the gauges is a nice large screen, similar to what you see in uh, some other McLaren products. Um, really great graphics, really uh, you know clear, easy to see all the you know main information there and uh, concise. And also you can put it into like track mode, and it'll get a little more uh, racy with the appearance of those gauges there. Um, but if you really want to make it super simple, um, you just hit this button here, and then it puts it, or you put it into race mode, and then it goes into um, this little slim thing, which just shows you your speed, your tack, and that's about it. Uh, you know, very uh, simplified display there. But whenever you're you're just you know driving this thing full bore, that's all the info you need, and uh, you know it's nice to be able to focus on the road and just how fast you're going. Um, so anyway, really cool set of gauges. Coming over, you have uh, this uh, driver centric uh, infotainment system, and you know just a few buttons here, just the basics you need here in this supercar. You know, it's not going to have all the latest tech and uh, a lot of ways as far as entertainment goes, you know, but you have your radio, media, navigation maps look very nice. I will say that it's thankfully, you know, touchscreen and there's no controllers to fiddle with or anything. And uh, this is also where you can uh, configure a few of the other things like the uh, drift control you have here. And so uh, that's a really cool thing, which I will not be demonstrating, unfortunately, but you can see um, you can change it, uh, you know, so it'll actually allow the vehicle to step out to whatever degree you specify there and then hold it there. Uh, so it'll make it a whole lot easier to kind of keep it under control, um, which is handy, especially when you're dealing with, again, this much power, this much crazy. Um, and so a very cool feature they have there. Uh, right beneath the screen, you just have your volume knob, which is a really nice uh, you know, piece of aluminum here. And then a few buttons you know, for shortcuts, engine stop start button, nicely finished off in glass. And then you have um, you know, drive neutral reverse here, the little levers you flip on, and a few other uh, buttons. You have these uh, little uh, rotary dials here, one for the traction, and then uh, suspension setup, and then one for the engine uh, management and a few other buttons there uh, but you know just a few things and very concise um, but uh, other things as far as practicality goes I know most people don't care with supercars but um, you know you do have a cup holder and a little storage bin here underneath of that infotainment display and also power outlet there and you'll see another little cup holder here right in front of your armrest so there are actually two functional cup holders which is more than you can say for a lot of other supercars um, and so nice they have that you have a center armrest which is actually really firm um, I wish it was a little softer but again this is a McLaren we're talking about here, so I'm not going to judge um, how soft all this stuff is. Um, but it's very nicely finished in leather, of course. And you open that up, and you have a little uh, cubby. You can fit, you know, your smartphone, wallet, uh, you know, sunglasses, things like that in there. Um, so enough space. You also have two USB jacks and auxiliary jack in there as well. So really nice to have all those hookups. And, um, you know, so a decent amount of space to put things. Again, for a supercar, I think it's actually pretty good. Um, behind the seats there, you'll see a little net uh, for documents and stuff. And there is a shelf uh, behind behind the seats there, you could put some things, although securing them would be a little tricky, you know, one hard stab of the brakes and that stuff would probably come through. Um, but you know, nice to have, you know, set things temporarily or a jacket or something you could put there. But there is an actual frunk, you know, a front trunk here in the McLaren and it's actually really deep and pretty wide as well. So you can fit several duffel bags, you know, weekend bags, kind of things in there. Uh, a suitcase would probably fit, you know, maybe carry on size, something like that uh, would fit very easily. And, um, you know, so, uh, decent amount of space there you know if you want to use this as a grand touring vehicle you could you know take a decent amount of luggage again for a supercar pretty decent amount um and uh yeah so that's about it as far as the interior here in the mclaren it's just so cool just sitting in here it's just amazing you know excellent visibility the large windshield a view out of the back is great you know this c pillars that are uh, it's actually transparent thanks to the uh, rigidness of this body being carbon fiber with this tub uh, they can do that and not have um you know big thick uh, c pillars so visibility is much better than most other super cars. All right, so start, I'm going for a drive. So the McLaren here has this very slim key. I love it. It's just as futuristic as the rest of the car. Uh, just a really nice little key there. And of course, it's keyless access, keyless entry, and push button start. So you just leave the key in your pocket. You first have to uh, let all the systems boot up, actually, for a second. Then once everything comes on, then you're good to go and fire it up. <laughs> it roars to life. All right, so setting off in the McLaren 720S here. 
Uh, so, uh, so, so much to take in. Like I said, visibility is excellent. Um, but, uh, you know, you feel like you're still sitting really nice and low. Other things to notice here, yeah, more road noise. Uh, a little more than I was expecting, but again, we're talking about something very raw, so it's okay. Um, but uh, another thing here that I'm noticing is uh, the automatic, so it's a dual clutch seven speed uh, transmission, but in the automatic mode here, um, you know, it does a really good job of just kind of relaxing and uh, chilling whenever you don't have the active panel on, you don't have anything in sport mode. Um, it still uh, is, you know, really uh, easy to drive, you know, it's not tricky, uh, you know, just the nose lift, you know, you have to be careful if you're going over anything with any kind of, uh, you know, a grade to it. Uh, but other than that, you know, it's very easy to just drive and just cruise along in automatic mode and go about your business if that's all you want to do. Alright, so unlike my other reviews, I'm going to save the full-blown, full acceleration um, for towards the end. I want to warm up these tires as much as I possibly can to give me the best possible chances of hooking up with a 710 horsepower rear-wheel drive uh, supercar like this. So first, we're just going to kind of dip into it a little bit. So I got the uh, performance in track. Now that makes the shifts and the you know, throttle response and everything very quick and responsive, but I still have the handling in only sport. I'm not putting that in track because, again, we don't have super warm road or anything and I don't want to push my luck with a car that cost 340 some thousand dollars as this one is configured. You start at 288,000 um, but yeah so you can't blame me for not wanting to get too risky with this. But uh, one thing I will say, so you know, the great thing with these uh, McLarens is that the suspension is set up in a way um, where you can have a much smoother ride than when you get in some of the competitors. Downshifts are nice and quick here. I can just already taste a little bit of the insane performance. <laughs> this thing gets up to speed so fast, and then you hit the brakes, and then you get that aero spoiler, uh, you know, spoiler coming up and being as an air brake for you there. And it is, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm like misspeaking left and right, but this thing is just like amazing and how it just commands your full attention. It is just so insanely exciting to drive. Um, so other things here, trying to stay on task. So, you know, we have a 710 horsepower, four liter twin turbo V8 engine, a stroke version of the 3.8 you get in the other McLarens. Um, and so it has 710 horsepower and I think believe it's like 568 pound feet of torque. So, um, you know, uh, it's got to, that top end is where this thing loves to live. You know, it'll go around, I think 8,000 or so and it is, <laughs> it's very, very impressive, even at these lower RPMs, you know, I mean, you get a little bit of lag, and then the turbos kick in, which has got a signature McLaren thing, you know, it's kind of an old school turbo setup, but other things here, it's just so easy to go so fast in this, because, uh, you know, the steering is so sharp, but you have such great feeling out of it, um, it's just a perfect weight to the steering as well, so it just feels great, uh, of course, throttle responses, razor sharp, brakes are very interesting, so instead of being trained, travel sensitive, they're pressure sensitive, so you know, you get a little bit of travel and you start to feel a little bit of braking action, but mostly it's just, you know, you're just pressing the brake pedal with more and more pressure, so it takes a little more muscle um, to really, you know, clamp on these brakes, and then that air, that air brake goes up in the back, it's so cool, but... shutters with each upshift, which, uh, you know, gives a little more drama. It's not buttery smooth, and I think they did that deliberately um, to give you, again, more of that drama. If you can if you can put it back in the automatic mode or the, you know, the smoother powertrain setting, and that'll smooth all that stuff out for you. Um, but I like having that uh, built-in, uh, you know, a little bit more, uh, you know, sensation, a little more roughness to it uh, to make this more of a visceral experience. I will also say, you know, this engine, you know, it, while it might not be as sweet sounding as some of the nationally aspirated stuff, and some of the competitors, um, I really do enjoy the sound of it, you know, it just, it's got a little more, I don't know what it is, a little more of almost like a motorcycle sound to it than what you got in the 570S and even like the 650 and stuff, and I do think it sounds a little bit sweeter than uh, McLaren's in the past, so I think that's a nice improvement for sure. And yeah, you know, obviously this vehicle, it should be living on a track, that's where you can really experience, you know, this vehicle to its max, uh, you know, here on, you know, normal roads at normal speeds. 
tenth. I mean, I'm probably doing one tenth of what this car can do, you know? And so I'm just dipping into just sampling it a little bit here. Uh, it's just amazing. You know, the limits are so high. It also feels so light. Since you're sitting so low, um, the center of gravity is, of course, very, very low. And the only way that they're under 3,200 pounds, like 31 and change, um, which is also a lot lighter than some of the other competition, which is either all-wheel drive or just heavier for other reasons. And so this just feels so amazingly light. You feel like you're like driving a Lotus or something when you have, you know, a ton of power behind you. Uh, and it's just... Oh man, it's amazing. And it's also, it's, it's still very fun even to drive this vehicle, you know, on a back road, you know, at, you know, 50 miles an hour, 55, it still is a lot of fun. Uh, you know, obviously it's taking it without a sweat and it's just, it's easy and just kind of relaxing, honestly. Um, but I really love it because like I said, everything is just so sharp and so in tune um, that it's, it's just a wonderful driving experience. It's also just amazing how much torque this thing does have, how it loves to shove you in the back of your seat, even at, you know, only 3,000 RPMs in fourth gear. I mean, it really plants you in the back of your seat, even uh, whenever you're in a gear that's probably much too high, you know, it still moves. Like, no matter what gear you're in, this thing just picks up speed like crazy. Oh, and yeah, the, the higher the RPMs get, I have, again, I haven't taken it too high, but the higher it gets, the better it sounds. Here we got a little bit of a tighter corner. Let's try and throw this weight around a little bit. Even, I mean, it is still so flat. I mean, there's no roll, there's really no lean, it's just razor sharp. And I mean, that term is thrown around pretty loosely, but this, it really is like a scalpel. The Clarence are just, they're so light, they're so easy to drive. And you know, because you have such great visibility forward too, you really feel like you're like flying or something. Like you're, uh, you know, you just have this huge glass screen in front of you, very easy to see forward. So uh, it's almost like you're just flying and you just have a great soundtrack to propel you, propel you along. <laughs> oh, I love those upshifts. Uh, it's just great. <laughs> oh, and everything sounds so good, even the downshifts. Oh man, I can't wait to, to take this thing and open it up. Another thing you do notice is um, you hear every single little rock and pebble. Again, it all goes back to you know hearing more of that road noise, um, you know, just being a little more in tune with everything going on with the car. But again, it, it makes it a more visceral experience. Turbo sounds too. You get. <laughs> I mean, you know, especially if you, you know you grew up with the tuner cars and stuff. Uh, you know, you love those blow off sounds. You love that turbo stuff. And so this is just like all that stuff, just in a futuristic, uh, you know, ex extremely insane package. <laughs> it's just, it's so cool to listen to. And yeah, like I said, it's not you know the same sweet sounds of high RPMs from naturally aspirated larger displacement, you know, more cylinder motors, uh, but it still is a wonderful sound, I think, you know, it's, I don't think the sound should hold anyone back, you know, I mean, yeah, like I said, there's some that do sound better, um, but I think just because you get such better visibility here than the McLaren, and it's just a little easier to drive, I think, again, I don't have extensive experience driving supercars, um, so I'm probably not the most qualified to, you know, give you a definite, yes, this is the best or anything like that, but uh, I will say that it's just, it, you know, another thing, like, I just looked over my shoulder, and it's so easy to see through that seat pillar since it's glass. I mean, everything is so easy to do in this vehicle. So you can really just focus on the driving. There isn't any paranoia or worry or, you know, being, you know, worried about anything other than lifting that front nose. Otherwise, you know, it's just so easy to drive. And that really helps you to enjoy the experience even more, I think. But the moment you've all been waiting for, I'm gonna turn down onto this straight road here and see how it does. Oh boy, here we go. Oh man. I had to slow it down because that was already a very fast speed. Oh man. Oh, it's insane. It almost feels like if it wasn't so flat, it would feel like it's trying to take off on you. Like it actually oh, it made my stomach flip. Gotta cool down for a second. And that was just a touch of what this thing can do. 2.7 seconds, zero to 60 in this vehicle. But really that doesn't tell the full story. It'll do uh, zero to 100 in 5.3 seconds. So by the time a pretty quick, uh, you know, sports car, you know, like a Mustang or something is going 100, this, or going 60, this thing's going 100. So it's just absolutely insane. Let's do a rolling start here. 
second. track mode so still the aggressive powertrain settings and everything but I'm just gonna you know leave it auto and let the car shift for itself and see how that feels all right here we go Camaro, those were all 800 horsepower, um, and I even rode in a twin turbo Gallardo a long time ago, um, and that was like over a thousand horsepower. And even that, I think this almost matches like the feeling of a twin turbo Gallardo. It might even be a little more insane, um, just because it's just unrelenting. You know, with those there was even you know the firmer shifts, whereas this it just bam 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 bam. There is just continues on, uh, and it just seems like it's infinite. Like it just does not end. It's just crazy. And of course, uh, you know, I have to back off way early. I'm sure, like I said, this thing it has a uh, top speed of 212 miles per hour, so it'll just pull. Uh, I'm pretty sure pretty quickly. All the way up to that top end. But it is just so insane. The automatic does do a really good job, but honestly, it's just so much fun using these paddles. I just want to downshift and do it myself. <laughs> oh, this is, and then that air brake goes up. It just adds even more drama. Oh, it just makes it so much fun. And it's, a, it's a spectacle for everyone else around you. Every 
everyone's looking at you, everyone's ogling the car, even though it's a silver one, you think maybe it's a little more low profile. Nope, everyone gets excited, everyone's looking and enjoying it. Whew, so coming down here, uh, what's not to love about the 720S? Uh, yeah, this is definitely, I think, the craziest thing I've ever reviewed. Uh, the most mind-blowing, you know, and I absolutely love the 570S Spider I reviewed last year. That was very impressive as well. Uh, but this, this takes it to a whole nother level, and it is just, it's insane. I think if I could get into a few more of those accelerations, I'd probably lose my breakfast. It is that type of G-Force. It is insane. Uh, it's addictive. Uh, it's just all-consuming. With just, It just blows your mind. It really, really does. And, uh... I don't even know, you know, how McLaren goes on from here. The P1's already, you know, crazy in its performance, and, you know, they got new stuff coming, the Speed Tail and uh, the Senna and all that type of stuff, and I just, I don't, I mean, this is, like, so insane, you know, and I, it's so much power, it's so much of everything that I don't know how you could get out of this and be like, meh, I kind of wish there was a little more to it. Like, I don't know how you could say that or ever find yourself wanting for more. you got to be at a whole another level of speed junkie if uh, this does not fulfill your uh, need for speed it is just <laughs> it's absolutely insane so anyway um, <laughs> can't think of any other uh, explanations to say about this thing it's just insane in every single way uh, you know they started 288,000 like I said this one 340 some thousand and you know lots of options you know, carbon fiber stuff drives up the price all that type of stuff um, but yeah these are I think actually a really good bargain too considering a lot of the other competitors are a lot more money um, or if you know you want to go to the lower competing uh, class of vehicles I mean even some of those get to this price point so I mean I think McLaren they still have an unbeatable value as far as performance and what you get for your money as far as supercar stuff goes um, I think it's actually a pretty good bargain in that regard and it's a uh, $344,000 as tested price um, but yeah it's uh, definitely worth owning if you have the means that is for sure anyway huge thanks to McLaren for providing us with this insane bunker 720s to review for you guys today let me know your thoughts on the 720s in the comments below thank you guys very much for watching I'll see you next time take care